Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And I have the ZTE Axon M, which is a foldable dual screen phone. So one screen right here, the main one, open it on up and you can use it with two displays. I wanna give a shout out to ZTE for sending this phone over and also sponsoring this video. I'm extremely excited to show this guy off to you because there's some really cool technology. I wanna show off some real world usage of the dual screens as well. ZTE Axon M comes with two 5.2 inch 1080p displays with multiple mode options and talking about design. On the bottom here, you have USB Type-C charging, dual speakers, and on the left side is where all of those buttons are. You have an action button, I'll show that off in a second. You have the power button with an integrated fingerprint scanner, volume up, volume down, SIM and SD card tray. You have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with a microphone. And on this side is where that hinge is. So just showing a bit of a close up of that hinge action. You'll see it will snap into place, turn on both the displays. If I do want to unlock it again, I can just go ahead and set my finger on that power button, unlocks it right away. And on the side here, this is one of the modes. It takes you to your home screen and your app drawer on the right. Let's dive into the functionality of the dual display. So you'll see an extra button right here to switch modes and screen modes. Now you can actually tilt this in and it will still have an option for modes. You can still use your screen mirroring mode, which is actually dual screen mode. And then you just have the single mode, which it's in right now. And it's great to actually go into single mode with a hinge here because it acts as a stand and you can really customize the angle of that stand. So whether you're on an airplane, you're just sitting at the table, the breakfast table, and you're watching something or reading something, you can go ahead and just use it as a simple stand. Obviously that's just the tip of the iceberg with functionality with design, but let's go ahead and talk about the dual screen mode. So you can open up two apps at once and that's the mode I'm in now. So if we wanna go ahead and load up Chrome, for example, here's the, the Chrome homepage. And on the right side, you'll see that app drawer still, uh, still is up. And let's say I go to the Play Store. There you have it, you have two apps open side by side and you can go ahead and use it in horizontal mode instead of landscape mode and you can quickly swap between the two and whatever screen you're touching, the navigation buttons will swap. Now here's just an example of how you can really utilize that full screen mode. So you'll see I have Chrome open, just a web browser, an article, and a composing an email. Now you can also use three fingers and use an action to swipe down and you'll see it, it brings that app down or I can swipe it back up and it will open back to where I was. Now let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and share this article so I can go ahead and hit copy and then drop back down into my email and let's say I wanna paste it right here. So press and hold, hit paste and there we go. So now I have that uh, URL in the email. Now let's go back up to this article. Let's say I wanna go back home. It takes me into my app drawer where I can open up something else. Let's say for example, I could jump into YouTube. I could start up a YouTube video, continue on my email while watching that video as well. So you can really utilize that full screen uh, on both displays. Now let's also say for example, you're done with your email and you have an app open that you want to go into full screen mode, which is called extended mode. So here's another option. You can actually just swipe down from the app you wanna extend and it will jump into that extended mode. Of course, you can go ahead and press this icon and just select the extended mode. And you'll see here, you can get a full list of a lot more information. So if I swipe and go into settings, look at how many settings actually show up. And of course the accelerometer works. So you can go ahead and use it over here and it does go into a full screen mode. So I swipe down in the notifications and you get all of that information from your notifications. So of course you do have uh, Android 7.1.2 Nougat. Yes, you do. And you can double tap that recent apps and quickly swap apps. So let's say you want to watch the latest video. Now let's utilize that full screen all the way up at the top. And at the bottom, I can go into comments. I can go read more information about the specific video, uh, which is amazing because you uh, always want to go ahead and watch a video in full screen. But when you have one screen, you're kind of limited to that. So you'll see I have a full screen video going. And of course you can minimize it by pressing the back button. That video continues in the bottom corner. So you can go through maybe the trending page on YouTube and just check out that full screen mode. And it really uh, is pretty accurate in switching the screens when touching. This is something I was worried about was losing connectivity when you go over that middle, but it actually does a really good job at sensing what display you're on and quickly swapping. In the extended mode, it takes two 5.2 inch displays and turn it into one 6.75 inch display. So you see I have both my home pages showing. If I go ahead and go into settings once more and I go into display settings up at the top, you can force 
apps to work with your dual screen, regardless of supporting or not, and extend mode for all apps. So you have both of those options. So extend mode is, let's say it doesn't support extension. Now, if I go into Mario Run, I actually forced this into extend mode. It didn't support it, but it works just fine. And look at how much more screen real estate's used. Almost gives you that Nintendo DS feel. So here's an example of just me playing Super Mario Run, just running through, works just fine. Now let's say I wanna go ahead and press the home button. Now it's gonna take me all the way back home and I wanna go ahead and jump into Twitter. Now you'll see here, Twitter loads up and this is the extended mode. Now I can actually go into horizontal and hit compose and use all the bottom of the screen pretty much as a keyboard, as a landscape keyboard, while I can see exactly what I'm typing up top, which is fantastic. So I wanna say, hey, Twitter, watch this video. Let me see here, I had a little typo there. But as you can see, it's just a really neat use of space. Let's check out another option, and this is the share mode. And you'll see here, swiping up, I have my full list of apps on both screens. This is just so cool. It's just a really neat integration. So let's say I jump into YouTube. I wanna check out a YouTube video. So if I go into library, here's my library and I tap on a video and I wanna share it. Let's say I uh, press this option and you'll see here AA. So this is actually how you go to share mode and it will reciprocate everything you do on both sides. So you'll see even notifications uh, are dual. Um, anything I do is just completely mirrored. And one nice thing you can do is if potentially you're sitting across from someone, you can go ahead and tilt that hinge and you'll see if I go ahead and do anything on one side, it's still mirroring it on both. So let's say we wanted to watch a video together. I can go ahead and load up that video, one side, two sides, and I have the video going on both of them. You could do the same thing with a potential presentation with a client if you wanna go through some slides so they can see it and you can see it at the same time. I think that's a really cool integration when you're at work, you can go ahead and run through some slides Here's a perfect example of that. I actually just gave a presentation on ethics in the social space. I can go ahead and run through all of the slides and you see there's one of the slides. I can go through, go to the next slide and both sides are mirrored. It's just a really great uh, option, which is the share mode. And potentially if you're playing a game and you want someone else to see what you're doing, check out this level, you can play the game and then while you're playing, they can take a look. And of course, I didn't forget about the action button on the left side. Now you can actually double tap it and it will load up that camera app. And to give you a quick example of how the camera works. So you have this camera, which acts as your front facing and rear camera. So we'll check this out. I'm on the front facing camera. Hey everyone. Now I flip it and now it says, go ahead and just switch to the other screen. And there you go. Now you can use it as a horizontal camera. So really, really cool implementation. And again, switch to that front facing camera and just do a quick flip flop and we're on that front facing camera. And this is a 20 megapixel camera with that LED flash. And of course, with a rear camera, you expect good quality images. However, with a front facing camera, you do kind of sacrifice quality, but with this phone, that's not the case. As I showed earlier, watching videos is a really big main function uh, when you can utilize a full display while doing other things. So they make it quick and easy to get into TV mode. To do so, you press and hold this action button, launches TV mode. In my case, I have the YouTube app I'll load it up for TV mode. However, I kind of want to switch that potentially to Netflix. So if I jump into settings, um, you'll see up at the top switch app for TV mode. You can quickly go into that and I can just quickly swap it to Netflix. So now when I press and hold this button, it should just load up my Netflix app, which it's doing. And of course I can go ahead and put it horizontally, watch a video, and then potentially this is extended mode. However, if I wanna go ahead and switch to AB mode, I can have Netflix going up top, uh, or I'm sorry, YouTube up top or Netflix. So potentially you could watch two things at once. I think it just chooses the audio of whatever one you have selected. So you could watch uh, two sports games at once. That could be a really good implementation. Uh, so just really nice. I can go home and obviously open up a different app while I watch Netflix. So a ton of different modes on the Axon M. I think the extended modes are probably my favorite because it really just utilizes both those screens. However, being able to use two apps at the same time in full screen mode is a really, really great option because I know a lot of times I'll be watching a video and I'll be messing around with my fantasy soccer team. Uh, just brings open a whole list of possibilities and of course you can just use it normally like any other normal phone, just holding it. And then of course with the power button being the fingerprint scanner, you just go ahead and set your finger on there and it will unlock your phone. So that's about it. Everything I wanna talk about with the ZTE Axon M. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to click that thumbs up button and also be sure to click that subscribe button. 
And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.